Hey friends, welcome back to Talktive. Today we will talk about Sydney's 2.7 billion British Pond Behemoth Mega Project. NCE has had sight of advanced stages of construction at Australia's Greenfield Western Sydney International Airport. So, tie your seatbelt and stay with us till the end of the video. The £2.7 billion airport is being developed by project owner Western Sydney Airport Corporation, an Australian federal government business enterprise. Located at Badgeris Creek, 50 kilometres west of Sydney's centre on a site earmarked for airport development for three decades, WSI is funded by the Australian federal government. It is positioned as a catalyst for growth in Western Sydney, promising connectivity and economic gains across the New South Wales capital. Over a $500 million has been invested in more than 360 businesses since construction began. Scheduled to open in late 2026, the airport, which is also named after the famed Australian aviator Nancy Bird Walton, will be a full-service international and domestic passenger facility. Stage 1 of the scheme is being built to accommodate 10 million passengers annually, while future stages are planned to expand capacity to over 80 million passengers annually by 2060. The airport will also cater to significant air cargo operations. The terminal was designed by architect Zaha Hadid and Sydney-based architecture firm Cox to replicate Australia's unique landscapes. WSI's ambition and vision are also unique. The one. 780 hectares site at Badgeries Creek is almost twice the size of Sydney's existing Kingsford Smith Airport. Its 3.7 km runway will handle the full range of commercial aircraft. With CATIIIB technology, a navigation system that allows for landings with a minimum visibility of 50 minutes, meaning aircraft can use the airport in foggy conditions. Project Progress NCE visited the under construction WSI in March as a guest of delivery partner Bechtel which was initially appointed in 2018 to work alongside WSA to define the scope of the project. Since then, Bechtel's principal role has been to manage the main works contracts including terminal, airside, landside and enterprise technology on behalf of WSA. And Connectivity, a spokesperson for the scheme, told NCE that WSI will be the first Australian airport to open with purpose-built rail and road infrastructure networks jointly funded by the New South, Wales State Government and the Australian Federal Government, a new 23 Can-M Sydney Metro Airport line and new 14 km M12 motorway are under construction and reflect Western Sydney's positioning as an economic and population growth centre. The NSW State Government is also building new infrastructure to serve local communities, creating the new city of Bradfield. So, here we end our journey if you like our content, then please hit the subscribe button for more interesting videos from Talktive. Thanks for watching.